One third of American drivers are seriously considering going electric as generous tax credits. Fuel savings and reduced emissions lure the masses towards EVs. In hopes of adding clarity to the current EV market, in this video we would share you 12 best and two worst electric cars. Number one, Kia EV6 Wind Rear Wheel Drive. Kia's version of the Ion IQ5 looks completely different, with very similar specs. That's because both models share the eGMP platform with great range and even better charging. The 2023 EV6 has slightly more availability than the Ion IQ5 right now. For the 2023 model year, Kia decided to drop the light base model, kicking the entry level price all the way up to nearly $50,000. As always, I recommend everyone take a test drive before dismissing EVs. They're quiet, efficient, and fun. The EV6 would be a great one to take for a spin. Number 2 Volkswagen ID.4 Pro Rear Wheel Drive The Volkswagen ID.4 is now made in America at Volkswagen's Chattanooga, Tennessee factory. That means it will qualify for the revised EV tax credit up to $7,500, as long as your VIN confirms that it is an American-made ID.4. I was impressed during my test drive of the ID.4. It rides like a luxury crossover and has plenty of acceleration when you need it. However, it's definitely the least sporty of this bunch, but it's also the least expensive now made in America. There is also a new cheaper option starting at 37495 However, with public charging infrastructure slow to build out, the expected 208 miles of range is not enough for us to confidently recommend it to anyone but those who expect to stick around urban areas 95% of the time. The ID.4 Pro, on the other hand, is exceptional value with the EV tax credit. Number 3 Tesla Model Y Long Range The Model Y is the larger, more family-oriented version of the Model 3. Last year, the Model Y overtook the 3 as the best-selling EV in America. Although it is the most expensive model on this list, if you can afford it, the ease of public charging, great range, spacious interior, and exhilarating performance all make this the sweet spot for many buyers. Plus, there are no dealer markups. But wait, there's more. Both the Model Y and Model 3 are available for delivery soon after placing an order. Tesla wait times are between 1 and 3 months as of late 2022. That's about as good as it gets in today's EV market. Number 4 Tesla Model 3 Rear Wheel Drive The Tesla Supercharger Network makes cross-country travel hassle-free. Tesla charges are very reliable, and with 1,500 locations in all 50 states, finding one is rarely an issue. Plus, the price you see on Tesla's online configurator is the price you pay before taxes and required fees, of course. While legacy automakers continue to struggle with out-of-control dealer markups, Tesla and other direct-to-consumer EV makers have the upper hand on pricing. Number 5. Fiat 500 The 500 is small, but if you don't need space it could be your only car. That's because it'll go far enough on a charge to make motorway trips tenable whereas the Honda E or Mini Electric would have to be second cars to anyone who ever drives beyond conurbations, rather than just within them. Number 6 Lotus Elytra The trick here is to roll with the fact that the Elytra has nothing to do with traditional Lotus, but that doesn't mean it can't align itself with Lotus values and be an interesting aspect of a growing brand. Yes, it's built in China and not Norfolk. Yes, it's electric. It's a high-riding SUV. But it's also a really very convincing one, and despite all the various arguments arranged against it, it's still, just a little bit, has some lotusness in there. More than enough to take on anything in the sector, including electric luminaries like Tesla. Number 7 Renault Scenic E Tech. Renault has another family electric hatch, the Megane E Tech Electric, but people have complained it's not roomy enough in the back. The Scenic is largely the same up front but has a 100mm longer wheelbase, devoted to the rear. People also grumbled that the Megane's battery size isn't enough, so the Scenic comes with 87kWh as standard. That's 391 miles worldwide harmonized light vehicle test procedure, which ought to shut them up. Number 8 Maserati Gran Turismo Fulgore this is a car that has real cachet, that feels, acts and drives expensively and comes across as better engineered and developed than any Maserati in living memory. As a company, it has momentum and investment behind it right now. The wonderful MC20 is a halo, and the SUVs will sell in bigger numbers. 
but this is Maserati's signature dish. Number 9 Volvo EX30 The audited CO2 footprint of a base model EX30 out of the factory is only 18 tonnes, not much more than many petrol rivals. The UK electricity it uses to drive for an 8,000-mile year emits about 0.4 tonnes of power station CO2, where a petrol car would emit 1.8 tonnes from its exhaust. So the EX30 lifetime CO2 is about half that of a petrol. Number 10 Jeep Avenger Jeep has built an excellent city car. Like any decent EV, the powertrain is silent and smooth, and it qualifies for various cheap parking and congestion zone incentives. It's small and maneuverable, and the boxy outline helps you judge the corners. The bash-resistant exterior and speed bump happy suspension calm your nerves. That's not all, mind. It has okay range and quick enough rapid charging, so its long-distance compass is perfectly tolerable. The cruising manners are fine, and it's even fairly chuckable in corners. Thank the small size and long travel suspension. Number 11, Dacia Spring. The spring's appeal is that it's everything that many electric cars aren't, it's not overwrought or heavy-handed. It's honest and enjoyable and manages to keep the dream of a low-impact electric car alive and proves to everyone else it is possible for a battery electric vehicle to weigh largely the same as its petrol equivalent. Well done, Dacia. Let's hope that where you lead, others will follow. Number 12, BMW i5. The BMW i5 is an exceptional new car. We'll have to wait to try the combustion versions of the new 5 Series. But if BMW's stated aim here was to combine 3 Series dynamism with 7 Series luxury, its mission accomplished this is the best handling car in its class and makes a Model S feel like a shopping trolley, especially the M60. Yes, it's expensive, but it feels every penny of the billion-pound investment it surely was for its maker. We move on to worst electric cars. Number 1. Mazda MX-30 I have nothing against Mazda as a brand they make some awesome cars, but I am very against anyone buying an electric car with just 100 miles of range in 2022. Sure, maybe it's just for around town. Have you thought about resale value? With barely 100 miles on a charge and slow charge times of around one hour, I'm afraid Mazda's first EV won't be worth its scrap metal value in a decade. Other options to consider at this price point? The Nissan Leaf, base Volkswagen ID.4, Chevrolet Bolt, and soon-to-come Chevrolet Equinox EV are all far more capable for under $40,000. Number 2. Mini Hardtop I sure hope Kerge's own Ray Shevska forgives me for bashing the electric Mini, but with 110 miles of range and slow charging, I don't see a single reason why anyone should consider this EV. It's one of the last compliance cars in the EV market. Discover the wealth of insights by subscribing for a steady stream of thought-provoking content. If you enjoyed it, a thumbs up would mean a lot, and feel free to share it with others who might find it valuable. Your support is truly vital, empowering us to keep bringing you informative and engaging content. We'd love to have you in our community. Stay tuned for exciting updates.